Today, in my never-ending quest for cheapness, we're gonna convert this old typewriter stand into a bandsaw stand. My father-in-law, Neil, actually made this for me based on Matthias Wandel's plans. Bandsaws are expensive. There's not much of a used market around here, so even the used ones are expensive. So I bought these plans thinking I was gonna make the bandsaw. My father-in-law said, I'll make it for you instead. But he said, you can finish the covers and you can finish the stand. So after procrastinating on this for a while, I realized I can just go to swap the University of Wisconsin surplus store, buy something like this for 15 bucks, and come out ahead when you consider that I don't think I could have gotten casters for that much. So let's get started. First we'll clean off the top, including what I hope is candle wax over here. Now I realize that this caster works well, locks with little effort, but this one on the right is frozen. Can't get it to work. So we'll yank that off and we will see if we can fix it. So you can see that this mechanism is just stuck. First I'll try to put some oil in there. Let's see if I can twist it free with vice grips. Ugh. I don't want to damage the shaft on this caster, so I'm gonna put some wood in the jaws and then clamp the bench vice down. All right. So I can do that with finger pressure, release it with finger pressure, I guess it's good. Now with the wheel back on, I will use some makeshift double-sided tape here and stick down a piece of hardboard. Somebody has to go potty. On my way. So I'm gonna give you some tape. Want the tape, Daddy? And then I'm gonna wrap it up in a circle like this. And then I want you to put it on here like this. I'll do this one as an example. Go potty. You gotta go potty? Okay. It's a hammer. Yep, that's a real hammer though. You gotta be very careful with that hammer. Yeah. Yeah. That thing is. Nope. You wanna try banging on a piece of wood? Yeah. Well, you have to be very careful. Yeah. I got get my face glasses off. Very nice. Here's your wood. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Right now I have all my chisels in this drawer. Clearly I've got to move those. You need Uh, sure. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, you do. I'll use a flush trim bit on the router to cut the hardwood to exactly the same size as the top. And then I'll cut off that rough edge with a block plane. Next I need to cut and attach some trim to go around the sides of the tabletop. So I'll rough cut those on the miter saw. and then I'll mark them more precisely on the table itself, cut them to final length, and screw them into place. And now with all the trim pieces on, I'll use a hand plane to round over the top corners. And I'll use some sandpaper to round over the side corners. Can't really use a plane on the sides because that's end grain and it doesn't cut as well. Now I'll use a slide rule to measure the inside space here. 
I'll trim up my piece of plywood to fit. First cut was a little long. And then I discovered that there were some screws in the way. So I had to cut some notches on the bandsaw. And then I'll screw some screws in from the side. This adds a shelf and it adds a little more rigidity to the legs to keep them from pulling apart. And I added a trim strip to the front of the plywood to make it look prettier. And now I can attach the bandsaw. These legs stick out over the edge a little bit, so now I'll mark them and trim them. And then I will chamfer the edges a little bit. And I'll drill some holes for bolts. I have to be careful here because I don't want to interfere with this sliding table. So I have to drill on the sides of that. Drilling a hole back here, I figured out that there's metal underneath this part and there's not enough room for a bolt, so I'll just screw it down in the back. And that's it, the project is complete. So, would I do this again? Yeah, absolutely. This took me close to a week by itself. If I had to build the thing from scratch, it might have taken me seriously years to get to it because I've got about an hour a day to work on stuff like this most of the time. If I have to rebuild the casters, I can do that. But for now, I can just use this thing. So now that I don't have to work on making this from scratch, I can work on more important things. For example, the bottom guard for this bandsaw. I hope you like this video. If you wanna see more, then consider subscribing. And if you have any thoughts or questions, then please share them below in the comments on YouTube. I try to respond to everybody who stops by. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.